He's southbound. I got him southbound. I got it. I got the car right here. Yeah, that's it right there. White car, white car. Jack, here's the pursuit. Here's the pursuit. Oh, he went right through that intersection. Almost hit those cars. Unbelievable. Very close call. You got him at 11 o'clock, Tim? 11 o'clock, Tim. The car's at 11. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Oh, he's making a sharp turn. He can't make it. Oh, he crashes right into a car there and into a, a wall. Here goes the suspect running. Eastbound on Linden. Eastbound on Linden. Kicked off his shoes. It's an armed and dangerous suspect. The sheriffs were pursuing. He couldn't make the turn on Linden and crashed his car. Now he's in a foot chase. And you see the officers trying to knock him down. They're the deputies, I should say. He clipped him there, but he's continuing to run. Armed and dangerous suspect. This pursuit has started about a minute ago, uh, two minutes ago, I should say. And now he's continuing to run here on Linden eastbound. They're going to try to make a tackle on the suspect. He's trying to cut him off with the vehicles. The deputies right behind him. The suspect running hard here on Linden going away from uh, the major street. I'll try to get that for you in a second. But here he goes, turning the corner, and the deputy's right there in trail, but they got an airship overhead that's keeping track of that suspect as he continues to run from officers. They're trying to get units up ahead. He's given up right there. He couldn't take it any longer. They got him in custody now. Suspect in custody. That We only saw one person running from the car, the driver. He jumped out and ran from the vehicle, but you see the sheriff's coming in. The suspect kind of struggling there with those deputies. But again, this was an armed and dangerous suspect wanted for an assault nearby. We we're trying to get the details as to where that assault took place. But again, this uh, pursuit ending in a crash uh, just off a of major street off of Linden. The suspect jumping out and running and making a, a good foot chase out of it, but able to get uh, the suspect now in custody off this minor street next to an, uh, it looks like an apartment complex. We never heard uh, what the weapon was, uh, but there is a victim. They do have deputies on scene uh, where that victim was assaulted by this person. But again, it was a white vehicle that was in being pursued by the sheriff's department. The Lakewood sheriffs were in pursuit. For about two minutes, the suspect uh, driving northbound on Woodruff made a turn on uh, westbound Rosecrans and then made a turn on one of the major streets uh, west of uh, Woodruff. And that's when he tried to uh, make a left-hand turn, a sweeping turn, going too fast and crashed into a, car, a parked car on the corner and uh, partially into a wall. And the suspect took off on foot, and that's uh, where it led to here at the scene. You know, I, I kind of stayed on the car there for a little bit as the guy jumped out and ran. I didn't see anybody else uh, running uh, from the vehicle. It's possible that uh, there might be someone else in the vehicle, but uh, we, we, you know, we stuck with the driver to uh, watch this foot chase unfold. But again, uh, a very uh, dangerous pursuit. Just prior to him crashing into that, uh, that wall, he did have a very close call in an intersection just north of that, uh, that scene where he almost hit what looked like uh, maybe someone on a motorcycle, and uh, the deputies were saying that he did clip a vehicle, possibly a parked car, when he went through that intersection.